This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody. A brand new year, a brand new season of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. We are so glad you can join us. We have 16 teams that will be competing for the top spot. And today you're going to see the first four compete. And you're going to see Ada take on Bath in our first game. And a little bit later, Elida will face off against Salina. We want to welcome all of you to watch. I know that a lot of you play at home, and I'm sure that um, you wish that you could get that trophy at the very end, too. So let's introduce you to our players joining us from Ada. We have Alex Hertig, Austin Ambergy, Noah Pinckney, and Meredith Marshall. And Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Bath, joining us is Paul Blossoman, Tristam Cheeseman, Alexis Ball, and Katie McNamara. And Bath is coached by Daniel Grimm. Welcome to all of you. All right, everybody, we have 10 questions in our first round. They're all worth 10 points apiece. Up for grabs, make sure you get those buzzers ready. And when you answer, please be as complete as you can with your answer. Speak loudly and clearly. If we have any questions, we will refer them to our judge over in the dark corners, Mark Dickman, okay? Everybody ready, here we go. Question number one. What game bird did Ben Franklin want as our national, yes, that would be Ada. The turkey. The turkey is correct. What author wrote The Age of Innocence and Ethan Fromm? Yes, Ada. Thoreau. That is incorrect. So, Beth, you've got a chance here. Yes. Walt Whitman. That is also incorrect. The answer is Edith Wharton. All right, number three. Name the U.S. president who was the subject of a 1995 film by Oliver Stone. Yes, Beth. John F. Kennedy. That is incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Yes. Nixon. Could you be complete with your answer? Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon is correct. Going on to question number four now. The American Beauty is what type of flower? Yes, Beth? Sunflower. Sunflower is incorrect, so we're going to turn it over to Ada. Yes. Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum is incorrect. The answer is rose. All right, number five. What holiday instituted in 1894 is considered the unofficial end of summer? Yes, Beth. Labor Day. Labor Day is correct. The NRA supports the protection of the Second Amendment. What is, yes, Beth. The right to bear arms. That is incorrect. Ada, would you like me to complete the question? Yes, please. The NRA supports the protection of the Second Amendment. What is the NRA? National Rifle Association. Yes. National Rifle Association. You got it. All right. Moving on to question number seven. In which city would you find Graceland? Yes, Ada? Tennessee. No oh, city. Oh. We're not going to be able to take that, so Beth, you've got a chance with this. Yes. Memphis. Expand your answer. Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. You got it. Memphis, Tennessee is correct. All right, question number eight. What scenic route connects Shenandoah and Smoky Mountain National Parks? Yes, Ada. Route 66. That is incorrect, so Beth, you've got a chance with this one. Yes. Lincoln Highway. That is also incorrect. The answer is the Blue Ridge Parkway. All right, two questions remaining in round one. In which city would you find the Shed Aquarium? Yes, Beth? Chicago. Chicago is the answer. And your final question. What Old Testament prophet was instructed by God to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem? Yes, Ada. David. 
David is incorrect. Beth, you want to try? Yes. Zerubbabel? That is also incorrect. Nehemiah is who we're looking for there. Okay, we've come to the end of our first round and we have a tie. Both teams with 30 points. We'll be back with rounds two and three after the break. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we're starting the season off with a tie. Right now we have a game going between Ada and Bath, and both teams have 30 points. In a coin toss earlier, it has been decided that Bath, in the event of a tie, you will go first with your five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please make sure you buzz in with your answer, okay? How are the two people in Grant Wood's American Gothic painting related? Yes. They were husband and wife. You are correct, they're husband and wife. In what state was Custer's last stand? Yes. Wyoming. That is incorrect. Montana is the answer there. What famous poet and essayist lived at Walden Pond, Massachusetts? Yes. Henry David Thoreau. You are correct. And what historic Texas town is known for its river walk and water taxis? Yes. Houston. Houston is incorrect. The answer is San Antonio. And your final question in this round. In Longfellow's poem, Hiawatha, who was Hiawatha's wife? Yes. Jigonese? That is incorrect. The answer is Minnehaha. All right, turning now to Ada for your five questions. Everybody ready? If it's 4.30 in New York City, what time is it in Los Angeles? It's three, three hours. Three hours from us, Yes. 7.30? 7.30 is incorrect. You'd have to go back. It's 1.30. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. What organ is most affected by pneumonia? Yes. The lungs. The lungs is correct. What ingredient makes bread dough rise? Yeast. Yes. Yeast. Yeast is correct. On what continent would you find the capital cities of Tripoli and Freetown? Yes. Africa. Africa is the answer. And here's your final question in this second round. The Apostle Paul's original name was what? Saul. Yes. Saul. Saul is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our second round. And it is a close matchup. Ada, you have 50 points, Bath with 40. And this is your final round. Ten questions were ten points apiece. Everybody ready with those buzzers? They're all up for grabs. What is the largest North American mountain range? Yes, Ada. The Rockies. The Rockies is correct. Which U.S. president was elected to four terms? Ada? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That is correct. In which state is Yosemite National Park? Bath. California. California is the answer. Name the commission established to investigate J. Yes. Back. The Warren Commission. The Warren Commission is the answer. Question number five. In 1803, what country sold the United States? Yes, that would be Bath. France. France is the answer. What president was in office only four months before being assassinated? Yes, Ada. Garfield. Could you be specific with the name? Alexander Garfield. That is 
Incorrect. So, Beth, you want to try? Yes. James Garfield. James Garfield is the answer. All right, question seven. Which biblical book records Israel's deliverance from the Egyptians? Yes, that would be Ada. Exodus. Exodus is correct. Which American city is known by the nickname the Big Easy? Beth. New Orleans. New Orleans is correct. All right, two questions remain in this game. Give General Thomas Jackson's nickname. Ada. Stonewall. Stonewall is the answer. And your final question in this first game of 2017. Which city was the first capital of the United States? Beth. New York City. That is incorrect. Ada, you want to try? Yes. Philadelphia. Philadelphia is the answer. All right, we've come to the end. There was a, only a 10 point difference and we do have a winner. Beth, you had 90 points, Ada, 100. You will be moving on in competition, congratulations. Beth, thank you for putting up a really, really good fight. You played well, and thanks for joining us this year. And we'll be back with our next game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by UB Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. We're in the very first games of the new season of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. We just finished a real tight one between Ada and Bath, and here was the score there. Bath with 90 points, Ada 100. That means that Ada will be moving on in competition. They will eventually face off against the winner of this game now that we're going to start between Elida and Salina. Let's introduce you to our players. Joining us from Elida, we have Kenzie Chrislieb. Logan Orians, Olivia Morales, and Josh Guess. And Elida is coached by Shelby Klutz. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Salina, we have Emma Neves, Brittany Slater, Madison Arthur, and Maddie Bevington. Salina is coached by Hal Hoover. Welcome to you, ladies. All right. We will begin with rounds one and two, and then we're gonna take a commercial break. But this first round, 10 questions, all were 10 points. Get your buzzers ready because they're up for grabs. Please, when you answer, speak loudly and clearly and make your answers as complete as possible, especially on the names, okay? Here we go, question number one. What was founded as the world's online marketplace in 1995? Time is up. The key word there was online marketplace and it is eBay. All right, number two. For what style of painting is Mary Cassatt known? Salina. Impressionist. You are correct, very good. Question number three. Name the Virginia Colonial Assembly that met from 1619 to 1776. Salina. House of Burgesses. That is correct. Which president urged the U.S. to boycott the 1980 Olympics? Time is up. The answer is Jimmy Carter. All right. Question number five. What is Europe's most mountainous country? Yes, Elida. Um, Italy. Italy is incorrect. So, Salina, you've got a chance to answer this. Yes. Greece. Greece is also incorrect. Switzerland 
is the answer. All right, what actor replaced Gray Davis as governor of California? Yes, that would be Elida. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You are correct. All right, question number seven. What is Dr. Phil's last name? Elida. McGraw. McGraw is correct. The book and movie, All the President's Men, was about what event? Elida. W uh, Wingate. That is incorrect. Salina, do you want to try it? Okay, time is up. The answer is Watergate. You were close. All right, two questions remaining in round one. Name two of the major prophets of the Old Testament. All right, time is up, teams. You could have answered Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, and Daniel. All right, moving on to our final question in round one. What is Venus Williams' tennis playing sister's name? Yes, Elida. Sabrina Williams. I'm sorry? Sabrina Williams. That is incorrect. Selina? Yes. Serena Williams. Serena is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one. And here's our score. Selina, you have 30 points, Elida with 20. That means because you're leading Selina, you get these first five questions worth five points apiece, okay? They are yours, but please ring in with your answer. King James plays for what NBA team? That would be LeBron James for the Cleveland Cavaliers. All right, question two. What is the capital of Illinois? Yes. Chicago. That is incorrect. Springfield. Springfield is the answer, that's right. Question three. What was the subject of Upton Sinclair's novel, The Jungle? Um, nope, we can't take it. The buzzer came in. Um, it is the meatpacking industry. All right, question four. In which states would you find the Hoover Dam? Should I remind you that your coach's last name is Hoover? But that's okay, it's not the same. It is Nevada and Arizona, just so you know. And then, question five. What is the oldest continually occupied town in continental U.S.? Yeah. Jamestown. That is incorrect, it's St. Augustine, Florida. Okay, let's turn to Elida now for your five questions. Name the company that Earl Tupper founded in 1945. Yes. Tupperware? That is correct, Tupperware. Which Caribbean islands did the U.S. purchase from Denmark in 1916? Haiti and the Dominican Republic, sorry. That's okay, that's incorrect. The answer is the Virgin Islands. What was the name of the pirate ship in Peter Pan? The answer is the Jolly Roger. What is Elvis Presley's daughter's name? Yes. Mariah. That is incorrect. The answer is Lisa Marie. And you have one more question remaining in round two. 
Jesus taught his followers in what short story form? Yes. Parables. Parables is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round two. We're stumping them a little bit here. Here's our score. We do have a tie. Elida and Salina both with 30 points. We're going to take a break and be back with our final round after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, welcome back everyone. We have several players this season and we have several in this game right now between Salina and Elida. So I just want you to relax and enjoy the experience, okay? Just sit back and, and tell us what you know, all right? So we do have a tie though. Elida and Salina are both tied at 30 points. We're going into our final round. Just 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. Again, they're up for grabs and get those buzzers ready. Name Sir Walter Raleigh's 1587 Lost Colony. Yes, Salina? Croton. That is incorrect. Elida, do you want to try it? Yes. Roanoke. Roanoke is the answer. What was the nickname for the ship Constitution launched in 1797? The answer here is Old Ironsides. All right, number three, who wrote The Last of the Mohicans? All right, time's up. The answer is James Fenimore Cooper. Moving on, number four, the Boxer Rebellion took place in what country in 1900? Yes, that would be Elida. Russia. Russia is incorrect. So, Salina, you've got a chance to answer this one. Yes. Italy. I'm sorry? Italy. Italy is incorrect. The answer is China. All right, moving on to number five. Give the geographic term for the part of Texas that juts north between Oklahoma and New Mexico. Salina? Plateau. That is incorrect. Elida, do you want to try it? Yes. Peninsula. Peninsula is also incorrect. It is a word that begins with the letter P. It is panhandle. All right. Question six. In what state is Voyager's National Park? Yes, Elida. Virginia. That is incorrect. Salina, do you want to try? Um. No, the answer is Minnesota. All right, you have four questions remaining in the game. Name the nuclear submarine that made the 1958 North Pole undersea crossing. Time is up. The answer is the Nautilus. Question eight. Which U.S. company invented air conditioning? Yes. General Electric. That is incorrect. Salina, do you want to try it? Yeah. Whirlpool? That is incorrect. The answer is carrier. 
All right, two questions remain. Lex Luthor is a villain in which comic series? Yes, that would be Salina. Superman? Superman is the answer. All right, one question remains in this game. In what Arizona city were six people killed in January of 2011? Salina. Tucson? Tucson is the answer. All right, we have come to the end of our game between Elida and Salina. We had some tough questions. We have new players, but we have a final score. Elida, you have 40 points. Salina with 50. Congratulations, Salina. You'll be moving on in competition and you will eventually take on Ada. And we want to thank you at home for watching. Thank you for playing along with us today as well. We'll see you back here next week, everyone. Bye-bye.